Food has, you know, narrated my whole life. It's how I have kind of archived all of my memories. It's how I, yeah, look back on things, look forward to things. I, I'm always thinking about everything through food. And my earliest memories are are cooking and are being in the kitchen and wanting to be in the kitchen. Um, I learned to cook from watching it on TV, from watching public television, and from consuming cookbooks. I was very lucky to be raised not only by my parents, but also my babysitter. And she and I really bonded over food and spent a lot of time in the kitchen together. The recipe I'm doing today are the chorizo and potato tacos, which is one of my favorite recipes because buying chorizo means someone has put all of this flavor into the ingredient, so all you really need to do is kind of heat it up and just let it kind of crisp up in a pan. It'll let out all of its fat, and then you put in those boiled potatoes. Put a little red onion when, when you add the potatoes, and they kind of soak up that fat. They act like these little great sponges, and then they get a little crispy on the outside, but they're soft because you boiled them. And then you just season it with salt and some fresh cilantro, and, and that's it. They're super easy. I serve them with a, it's like a charred tomatillo salsa, and, and you basically just cut up a bunch of tomatillos and scallions and garlic and a jalapeno if you want. You just throw those all under the broiler and let them get really charred, and that adds like this crazy deep layer of flavor. I love using a broiler. I think it's like one of the most underrated kind of appliances in your kitchen. I like that the door opens to the side because sometimes oven doors can feel like they're going to sort of fall down. So again, any bit of sort of control that you feel I think is really helpful. And then you just throw it in a blender, you get some fresh cilantro and fresh lime so you get kind of like really bright flavors on top of those deep flavors. I love this also because it tastes really complex and layered, but it's so simple to make. It's spicy. <laughs> I am definitely a clean-as-I-go person, so I'm always trying to do that so I'm not left with a big pile kind of at the end. I love using a dishwasher because it just means there's less kind of clutter in front of you. It's sort of tucked away into this great little machine that will do it for you. I have only ever worked on cookbooks. That's the only job I've known. So what brought me to it was just my whole life long obsession with cookbooks. They're, uh, they're how I learned to cook, they're why I love to cook. I'm one of those really fortunate people that's like known what I've loved to do forever and I get to do it, um, so I feel really, really grateful. There's a lot of just small details that go into this recipe. It's a really simple recipe, but the details are really what define it. Um, um, so to serve the tacos, you take that nice, warm, slightly crispy, slightly soft chorizo potato mixture and you pile them on um, tortillas, or you can use lettuce leaves. Put that salsa on the table, people can add it, some fresh lime, you can slice some radishes. It's, it's a really nice kind of make your own however you'd like it. Mm. I love these. They're messy, but they're so good. It's like the cheapest, easiest way to feed a big group of people, which is awesome. So it's fun to eat alone, but more fun with friends. And the best part is this reheated tomorrow morning with eggs on top is the best breakfast in the world.